So, alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to do my WWE uh, SummerSlam preview, and uh, my predictions for SummerSlam uh, this upcoming Saturday, 7 o'clock on uh, Peacock. I'm pre-recording this just like I'm doing with the Commander's preview. I'll, I'll upload both of those videos when I'm eventually sleeping and whenever I wake up, I'll upload both of them. But yeah, I, actually, I just wanted to get that out of the way. But yeah, I'm pre-recording this. Um, but I want to talk about SummerSlam. I'm, I'm pretty excited for this weekend. I'm heading into about a few weeks ago before SummerSlam. I really wasn't feeling it. But honestly, with the card and the stories, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. And the possible ret and the, and the return that I think will happen with the Roman Reigns returning. I think Jimmy Uso is going to come back on Friday on SmackDown. Hopefully, you have Jimmy return Friday night, then Roman the next night. So, but Daddy B SummerSlam uh, continues its story legacy as a cornerstone Daddy B event. One of the big, like, I'd say big few pay per views, including like the Rumble, WrestleMania. And it's in Cleveland Brown Stadium, and uh, Cleveland hosts the promotion's third long string pay per view on Saturday. And the card shook up really nicely. I really like the card. Seven matches. As of now, I don't know if they're going to add any more. But uh, these are the matches that I had that are on here as of now. If there's any other matches added, then I guess they don't count on them predictions, I guess. But uh, two matches have been known for a long time, obviously. The World Heavyweight Championship, Damon Priest and uh, Gunther, because Gunther won the King of the Ring tournament. Winner gets a championship match. And the, w and the WWE Women's Championship match. Because uh, Gunther and Nia Jax, they won their respective tournaments. King and Queen of the Ring. Uh, and Jada and Saudi Arabia on May 25th earned title shots. Uh, for the Brands Championship at SummerSlam. So, um, so World Heavyweight Champion Damon Priest and Bayley, who the Women's Champion, enter SummerSlam as the defending champions. And the card... It's filled out with a series of like big matches. Like for the undisputed championship, we got Cody Rhodes and Solo Sokola. I fell asleep at Solo Sokola. I mean, they just can't get him over, man. And the reason I'm just not excited for the main match is because it's Solo Sokola. Like, I'd rather see Cody Rhodes versus Jacob Fatu. That would be a banger, man. Like, I hope this is a really great main event just just to prove it, <laughs> prove us wrong about Solo Sokola, but. Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley, that's going to be a banger, and I think Dominic is going to side with uh, Liv Morgan here, but who knows? I, I don't know. How, I, I, who knows? Like, this story can play in so many different ways. And then CM Punk and Drew McIntyre, that's going to, that should, that also should be the main event. Like, no cock. No cock. I, I mean, no cap. But, um, or I thought, I, I don't know, is it 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock? Like, it says the main car's starting at 8 o'clock live on Peacock, but it says 7 o'clock. Alright. I'm pretty sure it's at 7. It's at 6 Central, 7 Eastern. Okay. Just wanted to get that right. But I'm going to start with uh, CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. The special guest referee match with Seth Rollins. So this is probably one of the most anticipated SummerSlam matches on the card. And... I guess, I guess the most anticipated SummerSlam match, I guess, is arguably the one without a title at stake. This isn't even for a title. WWE's masterfully told this story with CM Punk. What the fuck is happening? Um, a Punk and McIntyre. They've done a really good job building this up. Because Drew McIntyre's repeatedly mocked uh, CM Punk's injury um, after he was hurt, hurt in the ring with him at the Royal Rumble. Uh, he retaliated by ruining his WrestleMania, me, uh, WrestleMania moment, taking the title... Uh, Drew him out of the title after five minutes. Scotland homecoming and money in the bank cash in. And then Mac Drew McIntyre uh, hospitalized Punk with a brutal assault in Chicago in his hometown between Clash of the Castle and money in the bank. Further adding to their blockbuster showdown in Cleveland. And people wondered how Seth Rollins' long stemming issues with each man would work to this match, you know, because um, CM Punk cost him as well at um, money in the bank. And uh, he'll serve as a special guest referee for the um, special ref special guest referee for this match, saying that he will enforce rules as he sees fit throughout the match. Basically, uh, it's kind of a tough match to predict, especially with that factor of Seth Rollins being the being the referee. I don't know. I feel like I feel like Drew McIntyre could use a win here. That's just CM Punk's. I don't know. Has he had a? Has, I don't recall him having any singles matches since returning, so hopefully he can uh, stay healthy, because if he does, it's going to be a 
He's gonna. They're just gonna be a masterful run. I want to say. I want to say Drew McIntyre, but I don't know if they're gonna have CM Punk lose. But you can get my final prediction. I'm gonna say CM Punk. I'm gonna say it, CM Punk gets the win against uh, Drew McIntyre, and they can have another match. Uh, maybe you build that up for Bad Blood, possibly, or Bash at the Berlin. I don't know. The yeah, next one to start with. Uh, next, I'm gonna go with the undisputed WWE Championship: Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sokola. Um. So Roman Reigns, obviously, his dominance ended at WrestleMania because Cody Rhodes took the title. But we get more stuff with the Bloodline, the new Bloodline, so the Solo Sokola led version. It dramatically upgraded with Jake and Fought too. Other than that, and uh, Tama Tama Tonga, I like those two. The other two. Yeah, I can't care less. So, uh, they defeated them in a six-man tag match at Money in the Bank. They de the, the Bloodline defeated Rhodes, Orton, and Kevin Owens, giving him a reason to challenge for the title. Uh, he's took out he's took out Randy, Orton, and Kevin Owens, and they're probably going to be like, Oh, he has no friends he, he, on a Saturday. Who's going to save him? And then we get uh, Roman and Jimmy Uso. I think Jimmy Uso will come back the night, night before. And he'll still be there the next night with Roman. And maybe Paul Heyman. There's so many possibilities. Dude, Roman better return. If he doesn't, you're going to hear a freaking rant on Saturday night. He better come back. Or it's just a waste of my time watching this pay-per-view. But yeah, I'm going to say Cody Rhodes retains. I mean, there's no way he's losing. Just solo Sokola. Uh, Damian Priest versus Gunther. Uh, Gunther defeat Randy Orton, the King of the, King of the Ring Tournament's finals to solidify his world title shot here. Uh, they built up their feud very well. And I've seen people say Damian Priest could retain. I definitely think it's a possibility. <sighs> I don't know. But I mean, he stood tall on Monday, but I don't know if that means anything. I don't know. I just feel like Gunther's going to win the title. Like, I feel like he's going to go on a, a long run with this with the title. Is there a chance Damian Priest could retain? Yes. They could have him retain. And maybe have Gunther win at Bash at the Berlin, possibly. But, I don't know. I'm going to say Gunther wins uh, the World Heavyweight Championship. Damian Priest could retain him. I could be completely wrong here. But, I don't know. I feel like Gunther's going to win. Because, I feel like it doesn't matter who's going to be champion heading to SummerSlam. It was, uh, Gunther's going to win. Uh, the ch Women's Championship. Uh, Bailey versus Nia Jax. Uh, Nia Jax got here from obviously winning the Queen of the Ring. Uh, she's had her alliance with Tiffany Stratton, so that could they could have Nia Jax win and maybe Tiffany Stratton cash in. But would they want Tiffany? Are they gonna have her cash in this early though? They could drag this out. I mean, I don't know if I'd drag it out too far because I don't know. This would be a big moment because you could have her cash in at one of the top. I'd say top three, four pay per views. Like I don't know. I'm. Uh, they can have Nia Jax win. Maybe Nia Jax wins and Tiffany cashes in, but maybe Bailey does defeat Nia Jax and then Tiffany Stratton cashes in. I don't know. I'm going to say Bailey wins and then, um. Actually, I, don't, I mean, Nia Jax is Wayne Prem for a second run. They could probably. They could honestly put the title on her, but I don't know. I'm going to say. And she'll change up. I'll say Nia Jax wins and Tiffany Stratton cashes in. Actually, no. I'll say I'm gonna change it. Change it one last time. It's my official prediction. I'll say Bailey wins and Tiffany Stratton cashes in. Uh, Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley for the Women's World Championship. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say your Liv Morgan will retain. And um, and this has been a really good feud. Um. Really built up well with Dominic. I'm, I'm gonna say Dominic. Um, I'm just my what I think is uh, he'll turn turn his back on Rhea and side with Liv and help Liv retain. That's just what I'm predicting that he'll help. But who knows? They went so many different ways this ways with this storyline. But uh, it's been a really good feud with the Revenge Tour. Rhea Ripley wanting revenge and. But, I'm going to say a little more retains. Um, for the United States Championship, please, please, please. If Night doesn't win on Saturday, Saturday night, 
even if Roman does return, you're gonna hear ring it here. And there's no way WWE is gonna leave Paul at this pay per view because it's hometown. <sighs> Elway now it seems poised to win his first main t roster title, and hopefully elevate to see his future. Because yeah, I know Logan Paul's had in the middle of the thing, like in his podcast, impulsive, but he's only defending the title twice, and it's like us as fans, why should we care? Oh, I mean, yeah, for the business, that's good, but why should it, we, us fans, why, we sh why should we care? Like, I, I want to see a defend, a, a fighting champion. I want to see a guy that's just defended it twice and just has it like a toy. So, I, if LA Knight better win. LA Knight. If LA Knight doesn't win, well, you can look back on, I'm, if he doesn't win, you're going to see hear me look back on that quote, Triple H, say it. Good things come to those who wait. It's been like two years, so... Triple H, if uh, LA Knight doesn't win that U.S. title, you're going to be on Fraud Watch. Uh, Sami Zayn. I don't know why. Why is it a triple threat? Sorry, it's not a triple threat. I don't know why it says Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker versus Ilya Dragunov. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to say Braun Breaker will uh, win. The Intercontinental Championship, because um, Sami Zayn was looking strong. Monday, come out on top on the Go Home Show. That's kind of telling that Braun Breaker might win the belt. Um, he defeated. He earned a shot under title shot. He earned a title shot after defeating Ilya Dragunov on a July twenty second episode of Raw, getting a number one contenders match. So, so it's, and that's my prediction. I see the Braun Breaker wins. So my predictions are CM Punk. Um, Cody Rhodes, Gunther, uh, Bailey winning, retaining her title, and Tiffany Stratton cashes in. I guess that's just cancels a bold. I guess that's like bold, but might as, well, might as well go bold for these. Uh, Liv Morgan, um, say LA Knight, uh, LA Knight, and then Braun Breaker. Those are my predictions. So yeah, um, that's my preview for SummerSlam. I just wanted to get this pre-recorded and upload this Thursday just so I can chill. Uh, on wrestling until Friday. I'm gonna do my SmackDown review and then Saturday. It's gonna be a long show, so probably be tired during the review, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna say until next time I'm out. Poof.